Hello, my name is Lauren Blanc, and I'm a recipient of the 2020 Wynn Nano Fellowship Award. I'm here to discuss my research on developing nano-sized cathode materials for magnesium ion batteries. There is a large demand for enhanced energy storage, and while lithium ion batteries have been very successful powering portable electronic devices such as laptops and cell phones, there are several safety hazards associated with this technology, and the expense of the scarce resources required for cell design render it inadequate for growing energy demands. In order to transition away from fossil fuels, safe and affordable technology is needed to power electronic vehicles and store energy generated from intermittent power sources so that renewable resources such as wind and solar can be integrated into the grid. Magnesium batteries are promising alternatives to lithium since magnesium metal is much more affordable due to its geological abundance. Magnesium-based technology also offers superior safety since magnesium metal anodes are resistant to dendritic growth that can short-circuit lithium cells and lead to thermal runaway. Finally, magnesium metal has a much larger volumetric capacity since multiple electrons are transferred per ion store. However, these elite increased electrostatic interactions between divalent magnesium ions and their surrounding host lattice result in a severe shortage of cathode materials capable of reversibly storing magnesium ions. Overcoming these sluggish magnesium kinetics relies on the development of suitable nanomaterials that offer shortened diffusion path lengths to activate and enhance magnesium electrochemical activity. The sulfide-based materials that are promising candidates for magnesium cathodes are typically prepared using solid-state synthetic routes that require high temperatures and long heat treatments and prepare large bulk particles that can be tens of microns in diameter. This particle size can be reduced post-synthesis through ball milling, but this process can introduce surface defects that can negatively impact electrochemical performance later on. Instead, we used a low temperature melt synthesis through the decomposition of metal xanthate salts in order to directly prepare nano-sized sulfide materials for cathode candidates. The elimination of gaseous byproducts throughout the synthetic methods generates a highly porous network material that ought to promote electrode and electrolyte interaction in magnesium cells. The electrochemical performance of these materials clearly shows the importance of curtailing particle size when screening for magnesium cathode candidates. While micron-sized materials showed little promise as a magnesium cathode, nanomaterial prepared using the xanthate method achieved 92% of the theoretical capacity of copper cobalt sulfide. This clearly indicates the importance of using direct nanosynthetic techniques to enhance magnesium performance and allow for the discovery of novel candidates. And these methods can also be used to design and develop cathodes for other multivalent systems based on zinc or calcium metal. I would like to thank the University of Waterloo and the Waterloo Institute for Nanotechnology where this work was carried out. And in particular, I'd like to thank my supervisor, Linda Nazar, as well as the whole Nazar Lab Group for their support of this research.